Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Kevin. And I'm Yuri. Our documentary is about us attempting to catch an invasive species of fish in Ontario. We chose to make it about this because it is important to spread awareness about this issue. The species of fish that are invasive to Ontario are big head carp, black carp, grass carp, and so on. These invasive species are a problem because they alter the habitat of native species, plants, and eventually make them go extinct. We hope to catch one of these fish today to help spread awareness of, uh, new, of these uh, invasive species being let out into the ecosystems and the effects of them. To get more information about why invasive species of fish are bad, we are going to interview a teacher at Oak Ridge who knows more about it. Okay, so I'm here with Mr. Gallo to interview on the questions. Hello. How's it going? Good to hear. Great, thank you. All right, so first question is, why, why do you think invasive species are dangerous to the environment? Well, um, an environment or an ecosystem, it, it takes a long time to uh, to come to be or to establish itself. And it's, a, it's in a very um, fragile balance between all of the, uh, the consumers and the producers and the predators and the prey. Um, and that balance can easily be disturbed by uh, something that doesn't belong. So an, when an invasive species is introduced, the balance of the ecosystem is thrown off and, and um, as a result, a cascade of events can lead to the whole entire ecosystem crashing. Before we can start fishing, we need bait. Some bait prefer natural baits instead of tackle. For example, the best bait to catch a carp is canned corn. There are a lot of different species of invasive fish in Ontario, but the most common ones are carp. So, so to catch this fish, we've pinpointed the location for it, and the best location to find it is Ivory Park in downtown London. Okay, so here we are in downtown London, Ontario, and as you can see, below me is the Thames River, and this is the spot we're going to use to catch the fish. So we're so as we're here, we're hoping to to catch a grass carp, black carp, northern snakehead, or any type of invasive species. Let's get to it. So we have been out here fishing for a couple hours and we have not been able to catch the fish sadly. So we're going to keep trying in a couple different places that we believe may also have this fish. All right, so we had to relocate because the ducks kind of took over our spot because I kept feeding them bread from my lunch. How do you think the invasive species got here? Uh, well, there's a number of ways. Um, I've heard uh, stories of maybe pets being brought overseas or uh, into new continents where they where they don't actually occur. I think a very common one is uh, on ships, on the on the hulls of big ships, or in the ballast water of ships, and when they travel from continent to continent, sometimes there are creatures or critters uh, there that. Um, were unknown, and then when they when the ship docks in the new continent, sometimes they get they get uh, freed into the new land, and, and then that that's where they can thrive without any natural predators and um, and cause havoc to that again to that balance that that ecosystem that was already there um, has achieved. Uh, that new organism will will throw off the balance of the whole thing. That reminds me of the uh, Australia, uh, the rabbits in Australia. Yes, yeah, so that that, uh, that comes to mind for sure. Screaming.
Craig's Park a couple of days ago. Uh, I fished there for a couple hours and I caught a small amount of bass, but I didn't have any luck with the carp or anything like that. What do you think can be done to stop this problem? Yeah, well, it is a challenging problem. Sometimes there are uh, sort of local or community um, uh, incentives. I, I know with the Asian carp, they uh, and uh, the fear is them getting into Lake Erie from is it Lake Michigan, I believe, uh, Mississippi River or Illinois River, maybe. Anyways, they um, they had a, a number you could call where if an car, uh, Asian carp was spotted, they could call the number and then a crew would come out and try to fish to catch as many as they can. Sometimes they will turn the um, the the invasive species uh, into um, into they'll try to make uh, make it popular in the diet of the local people. Um, in terms of plants, sometimes there's community programs for, for picking and uh, you know, pulling out weeds that don't belong there and things like that. So a lot of community involvement. And of course, um, regulations in terms of you know bringing things across borders, uh, living specimens uh, help to prevent. Prevent the problem from happening, but you know, once once an invasive species gets hold in an ecosystem, it's it's a challenge to get rid of them. That's good. Thank you for your time, sir. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So at the end of the day, we sadly were not able to catch one of these invasive species of fish. It wasn't entirely for nothing, though. We all learned a lot and had a lot of fun making this documentary, except for when we got swarmed by geese. We hope we were able to provide you with more information about invasive fish species in Ontario.